So I reckon this property here for 49,000, uh, it seems to be a bargain. Hola amigos, que tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks and it's that time of the week again, time for a Spanish property hunt. I said hunt, H-U-N-T, and today we're going to go to the north of Spain for our property search. In recent videos I've gone to the south of Spain, to the east coast of Spain, but today we're going to the north of the country, which as we know is becoming more and more popular because of cooler summer temperatures. So if you're interested, stay Stick around. Now straight into the website portal and today we are using the Photo Casa, photocasa.es website. Uh, I can't see an English version or other language versions of this site and I would say that this is the second most popular real estate portal here in Spain. Of course, Idealista I think would be number one, Photo Casa number two. I could be wrong, but I think that would be the ranking of real estate portals in this country. Now, we're looking at the north of the country. We're going to go to Galicia first, and we're going to look in one of my favorite provinces in Galicia, Lugo, and we're going to click on this here, Lugo province. And one thing I like about this website is that we've got a nice detailed map here to our right, which we can expand and we can get an idea where the properties are in Lugo and some of the prices that we are going to pay straight off the bat. Now, filter number one, I'm going to put in two uh, rooms. Let's have a look here. So we'll get that first number of filter. I'm not worried about the amount of bathrooms, also the price. We'll see what we've got going on there as far as price is concerned. But some of the prices that are popping up on the screen, 72,000 euros, 70,000 euros, 200. So uh, decent prices, I think, in that part of Spain. Uh, Lugo province, of course. Let's scroll in and see where these properties are. I think from what I can see on the map here that they are located close to Lugo City. And yes, indeed, I think they are located all fairly close to Lugo City. So we'll go back to the uh, listings and we'll also have a look here at some of the options that we've got. So we've got the Photo Casa ranking system, Puntuación Photo Casa, most recent, cheapest, most expensive, biggest, smallest, and uh, again, the uh, cheapest there according to square meter. So what we're gonna do here, according to the Puntuación Foto Casa, we can see here that this uh, flat, I think it is, is located in Lugo Capital, 155,000 euros, reduced 10,000. So we'll have a look at uh, this property here first up. Uh, four rooms, two bathrooms, 119 meters squared. Uh, you've got a lift and also a balcony and 12 extras. So let's click on this one here and see what we've got according to the photos. So the first thing I wanna do is get the photos on the screen. Let's see uh, what type of uh, property we're looking at here. Looks fairly new, I will say, at least from the inside. Looks uh, to be recently renovated or new maybe, don't know. And uh, decent taste when it comes to furniture, I would say, the people currently living here. And quite clean, which is also a pro in my opinion. Somebody criticized me last week saying, why are you criticizing people's apartments if they're dirty? Well, I reckon that if you're gonna post your property on a site like this, at least have the common decency to clean the room before you post the picture, but that's just my opinion. So what else can we see here? Quite spacious, I would say. Looks quite decent. We saw around 119 square meters before. The bathroom there, we can also see quite uh, clean. The bed has been made, which is a pro. And other photos of the house here, for example, the terraced area closed in, but you could open those windows on a hot summer day. But remember, one of the advantages of the north of Spain is that it doesn't get too hot, especially compared to the south of the country or even the, the center of the country, it doesn't get too hot. So that's 155,000 euros for this one here. Piso in Benta, Rua Nicomedes, Pasto Diaz, San Roque, As Fontinas, Lugo Capital. We've got the option to translate into English, so we'll do that. 
And we can see here apartment for sale located near the center on Nicomedes Pastor 10 Street, ready to move into. This property has a constructed area of 119 square meters. And we saw the characteristics of the flat before. And it's on the second floor, but as we saw before, there's a lift, so that's handy. We can see here that you've got hot water that is heated by electricity, diesel heating. I imagine that that would be common in the entire building. It's between 30 and 50 years years of age, the building. So uh, as I said before, it's been recently done up and it's in good condition, which is important. And there's private parking. So that's important. So this flat here in the center of Lugo, if you're interested in seeing what Lugo is like, I've got a video on the internet, a walking tour of the center of Lugo. I don't think it's this area here because it's the older part of Lugo where I filmed that video. But I imagine that this flat would be close to the center as we saw in the description. Now let's go back, we'll get an idea of some uh, cheaper properties, we'll go to some cheaper properties just to get an idea, and you can pick up an old property here for 10,000 euros, obviously you would need to do this property up, and we can see on the map here that there's lots of properties for under 20,000 euros from what I'm seeing here, so plenty of properties there if you're interested in doing a property up. This one here, 10,000 as well, Finca Rustica, Finca Rustica, 10,000 as well, 10,000 and Casa Adosada, uh, so old homes that need to be done up, probably been abandoned for a while, but if you're into doing that, you might find a bargain here. Now let's go onto the map and see where some of these properties at fairly cheap prices are located. So we can see that Lugo is a province that has an interior part to it and also a coastal part. So you might be able to pick up property reasonably close to the coast. There's one here for 10,000. But uh, then again, I don't know whether this property can be saved or not. If they're selling it, I imagine that there is some hope. But uh, well, we'll click on it and see. Let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look here. Yeah, so not much going on here. There's only one photo. So I don't know whether you would be willing to take the risk on a property like that. But that gives you an idea of some of the property that you can buy in Lugo City and also in the province of Lugo. Now we're going to change to another part of Galicia, this time Pontevedra. Let's have a look here. Pontevedra province. Let's have a look. Uh, another part of Galicia. Galicia has four provinces, Pontevedra, Coruña, Orense and Lugo. And we can see here that this is um, a lot of coastal living in Pontevedra, as we can see here on the map. We'll go to some of the listings. We'll go to some of the uh, cheaper ones first, or the most recent ones I think we'll have a look at, and we'll see what we can come up with here. 77,000 euros in Lalin, which is a town in Pontevedra, going up 220,000 euros, just under 90,000 euros here in Pontevedra capital. I did a video in Pontevedra capital last year, so you can check that one out as well. 229,000 in Pontevedra, so there's different pricings here. Let's have a look at the one for 89,000 and see if we get a bargain or not for that price. And I'm going to be honest, Pontevedra City is a city that I liked, except for the graffiti, a lot of graffiti in Pontevedra, but it looked like a fairly manageable city and a city with good quality of life, in my opinion. Let's have a look at some of the photos. So a uh, fairly decent living area here, I think. An attic, as we saw before, top floor. Don't know whether there's any outdoor space or not here. Let's have a look at the kitchen. Looks fairly old, don't know, but it is clean, which is important. Some more pictures of that. The bedroom, very clean indeed. People have made the effort before posting the pictures online, which, as I said before, I appreciate. And uh, we can get an idea of what we're dealing with here for the price, 89,995 euros, 70 square meters, two bedrooms, one bathroom. I reckon that's a good deal. Let's have a look near the Campus Universitario in Oburgo, which is on the other side of the Ria in Pontevedra, I believe. Let's translate into English. Penthouse in Monte Porreiro, fully furnished and ready to move into, includes kitchenware, TV, carpets, etc. Sold as in the photos. It has a wood burning fireplace, large storage room inside the apartment, newly renovated bathroom, and changed Velux. Something here, ideal for investment due to the high rental demand 
that we have. Obviously, with uh, students close by, lots of students close by at the uh, university campus, you would have no problems renting that place at all. Or if you wanted to live there, again, a fantastic city in my opinion. We can see here that the uh, hot water is heated by butane gas, so gas bottles, and the estado or the state of the apartment very good according to this. Now the next area we are going to go to is Asturias, also in the north of the country. We'll have a look at Asturias province. Asturias is one of Spain's 17 autonomous communities and we can see that there are 12,003 listings but we'll narrow it down a little bit by changing the amount of rooms, minimum two. Let's have a look at this and we've uh, come down to 10,411. Again, we've got the uh, Photo Casa rankings, the first one here that we can see in Yanez which is on the east side of Asturias. If you know Asturias, it's on the east side, 540,000, so uh, not cheap, but we're getting a fairly decent property for that amount. And I will say that Yanez is one of the most popular tourist destinations in summer months in Asturias, or at least the time that I have been there. So what else do we have? Well, we've got this one here for 109,000 in Gijón, which is a, a big city in Asturias. And this one here, 109,000 reduced by 3,000 euros. 235,000 also in Gijón and 45,000 euros in a place called Llaneda, which I imagine is a village. Let's have a look on the map so we can get an idea of what we're dealing with here in Asturias. So basically Asturias, as I mentioned before, you've got the western part of Asturias, which borders with Galicia, and you've got the eastern part of Asturias, which borders with Cantabria, and of course the southern part of that autonomous community as well. Cangas de Narcea went there a couple of years ago, a nice town also. That's uh, interior living. Now we'll have a look firstly here at Gijón, see if we can find a bargain in the city of Gijón. There's the one here for 109,000. I think that's the one we saw before. We'll click on that one and check it out. Let's have a look. And uh, we've got 30 photos, 34 photos. So let's have a look at some of the photos here. Uh, kitchen, uh, looks decent, can't complain. Living room, a little bit cramped for my liking. Also, the furniture looking a little bit uh, dated. That's just my opinion, of course. Uh, one of the rooms here. Uh, I think this place needs a bit of renovation work done to it. The bathroom doesn't look too bad from what I can see here. We'll see if we can get another picture of the bathroom. Uh, one bedroom here, two single beds, another bedroom there. There's the interior patio where you would hang out the washing uh, and try to get it to dry in those uh, humid Asturian conditions. And the bathroom, as I said, yeah, looking a little bit old. Shower curtain, don't know what your opinion is on shower curtains, but probably get rid of that. Put up some other type of protection there, maybe get rid of the bathtub, put a walk-in shower in. So some renovation works, I think, necessary in this flat. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, 88 square meters, and as we saw the price there, 109,000 euros. Let's translate it into English in La Calzada in Gijón, uh, specifically in the Plaza del Medico, Felix Prieto, charming apartment on the fourth floor offering a privileged height and exceptional luminosity with an area of 88 square meters. This home provides a generous and cozy space to enjoy with the family. Characteristics, we've got the uh, orientation, northeast. We can see that the building is around 30 to 50 years of age. We can see that it has a lift, very, very important, but it doesn't tell us much else here in Asturias. So let's uh, go back to the main page. That was Gijón. Now, we'll go to some of those other properties. I think we'll look at a rural property now in Asturias. Let's see what you can get at the cheaper end of the scale. We've got this one here for 23,000, another one for 49,000. We'll click on this one and check out what it's like in a place called, uh, close to Langreo, which is uh, interior Asturias in a, a former mining area, I believe. 39 photos here and you're getting a house which has a decent outdoor space. Let's click on the pictures and see what we're getting. So it was a sunny day, the day that these photos were taken. Remember that Asturias, you don't always get sunny days up there, especially for nine months of the year. The summer months 
are quite good, but the rest of the year quite uh, overcast and damp. But remember, if you wanted to have a nice summer property where it is cool and enjoy everything that Spain has to offer, and especially Asturias, because Asturias is a fantastic part of the country when it comes to cuisine and uh, nature and things like that, this could be something that you would be interested in. 49,000 euros, two bedrooms, one bathroom, 73 square meters, lots of light coming in, important. As we can see here, the bedroom looks okay. Another uh, view of the bedroom, a nice view from the window of the uh, green Asturias. Uh, what else we got going on here? Again, another bedroom, uh, two, two bedrooms it was, that's right. So we've seen those, the uh, living space here, not bad, not bad. Kitchen, again, looks decent. So I reckon this property here for 49,000, uh, it seems to be a bargain. I don't know about you guys, but I would definitely take a look at this property if I was considering buying in this part of Spain. Let's translate into English. It's in the town of Langreo, which as I said before, is a former mining town close to the mines in Asturias. Don't know if the mines are still active there or not. I had a student a few years ago who worked in Langreo. She didn't really like the place much because she was from another part of Asturias. She was from a coastal town in Asturias, so she didn't like the interior uh, aspect of Langreo, but I think it's well connected to the capital of Yedo, so it could be worth a look. Fantastic house for sale on Roman Trefe, a few minutes walk from the center. Located in a quiet and close area, this single story home is characterized by its surroundings, its fantastic south facing terrace with great potential and beautiful views of its garden. So there we go. We can see here that it's a 50 to 70 year old property, south orientation, private parking, which is good. And that's all the information that we have there. But uh, I reckon that would be one to look at in Asturias, in my opinion. Now, the final part of northern Spain we're going to look at today is Cantabria. Let's have a look here. Cantabria province. Let's go there and see what is on offer. We'll wait for the map to come up. And as we can see, we've got just shy of 10,000 properties available there. Again, we'll narrow it down two bedrooms minimum. And we can see here that we've come down to 8,805 properties in Cantabria, also part of Green Spain, the cooler part of the country. And I know a lot of people are looking for property in this part of the country. Not only Cantabria, but the other parts that we've seen today also. Now we've got the uh, Photo Casa ranking, 285 is the first one that they're showing there. Uh, 180,000 in Laredo. 149,500 also in Laredo, which is a town close to Santander capital, I think. 290,000 in Castro Urdiales, uh, which is close to the Basque country. It looks like a decent property. And we can see on the map here where these properties are located in Cantabria. We'll have a look at a property in the capital of Cantabria, which is the city of Santander. We'll see what's available there. And we can see that we've got property ranging from 110,000 in Santander up to top end 849,000, so quite expensive. But we'll see what 110,000 euros gets us in Santander city. Let's have a look at some of the photos. Let's uh, click on this one. Looks like a nice neighborhood, typical of the north of Spain, as we can see. Let's uh, scroll through. Here we have the living area. We've, well, we've got a dining, living area, kitchen all together there. Quite convenient. Don't know about the furniture. Might get rid of that if I bought that home. Let's have a look what else we've got here. We can see a bathroom over there. More views of the same thing. Let's scroll through, see what we've got. Focusing on the kitchen, we've got the uh, appliances in the kitchen there. What else will we got here? Let's uh, keep on scrolling through, see if we get a picture of anything else. No, all right, here we have the bathroom, walk-in shower, which uh, I always prefer personally. The bathroom, uh, don't know how old that bathroom looks. Maybe you might want to uh, do some work to it should you buy this property. 110,000, there's probably room in the budget for some renovation works. Main bedroom, again, views. Have we got any views there? Can't really see anything out the window. Looks to be an interior patio. Again, a little bit messy, the room, I would say. Looks to be a storage room, don't know. 
but uh, I'll try not to criticize. Uh, one of the bedrooms looks like a, a child's bedroom there. What else have we got? So that's what you're getting there. And there's a view from outside the property, the front door of the property, I would say that is. And uh, this picture here, I've got no idea what it is at all. So let's go back to the listing. Let's have a look at what we've got here. So 110,000, three bedrooms, one bath, 89 square meters for sale. General Davila. Uh, again, we'll translate into English. Housing in Cuesta de la Atalaya to reform and shape spaces according to your needs and tastes. Purchase opportunity for investors since with a facelift, the home can be made profitable in a short period of time. So great for investors. Close to the university campus, city center, and the beaches of El Sardinero. So it sounds like a bargain, right, for 110000 We've got a uh, type of uh, building, flat uh, orientation, southeast. Uh, natural gas is the hot water system. It needs to be done up, as we can see here. And the building's been there for between 70 and 100 years. Don't know why they can't be more exact with that, but uh, between 70 and 100 years this building. And we'll go back to the map of Cantabria so you can get an idea of some of the other properties that are on offer in that autonomous community up there in the north of the country, uh, wedged in between the Basque country. We can see Bilbao there to the right and also Asturias to the left and Castilla y Leon to the south. So if you're interested in that part of Spain, maybe there's a bargain for you there. So time to wrap this real estate video up. Real estate in the north of Spain, we saw properties in Galicia. In the northwest of Spain, we saw properties in Asturias. In the north of Spain, and also a property in Cantabria, which is next to the Basque country, also in the north of Spain. And handy is Cantabria because of the ferry services to the UK and also Ireland, I believe. So if you're interested in property in the north of Spain, Photo Casa with an F dot ES was the website that we saw today. Check those properties out. I'm sure you will be able to find a bargain there. On that note, I'm going to wrap the video up. Questions and comments, please leave them in the section below. If you have anything to add to the conversation today, the comment section is the place for you. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. I'll see you in the next one. Hasta luego from Spain.